Hi everyone, Missy here from MD Glass Creations. I am here to show you how to assemble your 3D succulent kit. At this point, you should have already watched the video on how to foil your leaves or your stained glass project. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to flux and assemble the 3D succulent. And so I'm going to take all of these ones have already been completed and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to solder just this one. So I'm going to put a little bit of flux and that's probably a little bit too much flux all over my leaf. I am going to take my soldering iron, apply just a little bit of solder and I am going to tin each leaf. So you're going to do this multiple times. I'm of course only going to do this once right now for the sake of the time of the video so that we're not we don't have an extended long video. Um, once I have fluxed the front or soldered the front I'm going to go ahead and wait until it's cool enough for me to touch flip it over and solder the back side then I'm just going to leave it on the piece of cardboard and go all around the edges and solder the outside edges. You want to be sure that you have a piece of cardboard underneath of your project as you're soldering it and assembling it. I have placed a container of Dawn dish soap and water here because I want to be sure that I clean each of my petals before I assemble this project and to make it much easier to clean later. So I'm just kind of washing it through there and then I am going to take a paper towel and I'm going to dry off the petal. What you should then have is five of each size petal. Five of the larger size, five of the next size, five of this size, and five of this size. I am going to leave my stick of solder right here because we are going to need it. I'm going to take the largest petals and that's what I'm going to start with are my largest petals. I am going to hold two of them in my hand because I want to make sure that they're standing at an angle and they're not laying flat on the ground. I'm going to take my soldering iron, get just a tiny bit of solder and I'm going to tack it right here. Just a little bit at the end. Those two are now together and I want to continue this process with the rest of my petals. So I'm just going to continue to hold this, leaving them at a slight angle, tacking them just a little bit to keep them together making sure I need, leave enough room for the last petal and that I don't leave too much room so that they're uneven. And so here's my last petal. And this is going to be the base of our 3D succulent. As you can see, it's standing and it looks 3D and there are there's a tiny little hole here. We're gonna fill that in as we go along. But what I do want you to do to make sure that this project stays together is take your solder and apply just a little bit more solder in between each one of these leaves to make sure that it stays together for a long time. I'm then going to take my next size of leaf and I am going to go in the hole just a tiny little bit but also in the seam of the layer below because I want to be sure that I'm covering in this hole and we're not gonna have this hole at the very end. So I'm gonna take my solder and I'm going to apply just a little bit like we did, enough to tack it right there. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. Now these do not need to be perfect, of course. You just wanna make sure that they're tacked appropriately and they're filling in this hole just a little bit. There we go. And as you can see, my hole is starting to fill in and I'm not gonna have that big of a hole. And we're not gonna see that at the very end. So wherever you can find to tack these, like this last one, the hole, there was, the hole wasn't quite as small as I would have liked it, so I just kind of laid it on the other two and tacked it to the other two leaves there. 
I then am going to grab my next layer of leaves and I'm going to continue to do that same thing. As you get to the top of your project, you are going to find that you may not need all of the leaves that we have included in your kit. And that is okay. You can, you don't have to use them all. In fact, I'm probably only going to use a few right here. There we go. So that I'm not overwhelming the project and making it look sloppy. As you can see, I used that, and then I'm going to use the leaf next to it to attach this one. And then I'm only going to attach one more, so I'm actually only going to have three of these leaves. Because I don't feel like I need any more than that. I'm then going to take the tinier ones and fill in the top hole. And again, you have five of these leaves. You may or may not use all of them. And once again, you do not have to use all of them. You may decide that you only want to use one or two of them. And I'm probably going to use about three of them. One, two, three. And I'm just not going to use the other ones. Now, what you have is a completed 3D succulent. You can now place this in a teacup or a flower pot. And what you want to do is put a little piece of floral foam in, the, foam in the bottom of that. And then apply a little bit of moss to the top. And then you're just going to lay this on top. Or you can hot glue it on top to be sure that it stays there. If you have any additional questions or you need additional assistance with putting together your 3D succulent kit, please contact us via our website at www.mdglasscreations.com or you can send us an email, email at info.mdglasscreations.com or you can send us a, or you can give us a call at 443-610-9130 or my cell phone at 410-353-80. Two, three.